morning. I just want to check in with you all too. You guys good? Everyone holding up okay? It's nothing like riding a giant wave of emotion and then being slammed back to reality, right? I imagine that's what surfing would be like, except that I have no confidence I would ever actually ride a wave, but I would get slammed back to reality by the waves. That was a bad analogy. Let me, let me try again. It's like you had an awesome party, right? And there are some leftover balloons. They hang around for a couple of days just to remind you how cool the weekend was. And then slowly, some of them start to just shrivel up and go away. And you're like, oh, how sad. The happiness is going away. And then the next day, like nine of the leftover balloons all pop at once. And you're just like, I, I uh, still no. Okay, forget the analogy. Baseball was great over the weekend. Baseball was not great Monday and Tuesday. Monday's flatness was kind of expected. I mean, back-to-back -back extra inning wins, the high of the excitement of 14 innings the night before, and the absence of significant players like Tommy Pham and Yadier Molina made that not such a surprise. But yesterday? I don't know what that was. The only offense the Cardinals would get would come on a solo shot from Jose Martinez in the bottom of the first inning. Martinez has become a little bit predictable lately, and opposing pitchers have taken advantage of his propensity to swing at pitches he can't actually hit. But he got one to hit yesterday, and he sent it all the way out to the berm in center field to give the Cardinals an early 1-0 lead. But unfortunately, the bats would be silent for the rest of the night. Actually, the bats were silent for both games of the series. Like, completely silent. Let me just run through some of the numbers for you. Matt Carpenter, 0 for 7 with a walk. Paul DeYoung, 3 for 8, but 0 for yesterday. Jose Martinez, 1 for 3 with a walk with that solo shot. Marcelo Zuna, 0 for 6 with a walk. Dexter Fowler, 0 for 7. Harrison Bader, 1 for 6 with a walk. Greg Garcia, 0 for 3 with a walk. Francisco Pena had a hit yesterday, 1 for 3 on the, the series. Jed Jerko, 0 for 5. Colton Wong, 0 for 4. Carson Kelly, 0 for 3. Those guys combined over the two days went 6 for 55. Woof. The great thing about the Cardinals winning games like they did against the Cubs is that, like Colton Wong said yesterday on KMOX, they've done so without having played really great baseball yet. But when the bats come around is only going to be an excuse for so long before it becomes, I don't think the bats are coming around. And nobody wants that. But like I said the other day, I do think that this team is on to something and they could be special. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now. Carlos Martinez also was not at his best yesterday, despite a nice and easy 1-2-3 first inning. But that was all that would be easy for Carlos Martinez yesterday. <laughs> no thanks to the Cardinals' defense, though. With one out in the second, a single, a walk, and a hit by pitch led to the first Twins run on a sack fly by the eighth place hitter. The visitors would strike again in the fourth inning with a single and a walk and another single made more problematic by a fielding error from Marcelo Zuna, who really tried to field a ground ball but looked up just a second too soon and will miss the ball. Eddie Rosario scored 2-1 Twins. Two fielding errors and a double in the fifth would spell the end of the day for Carlos Martinez, but not the end of the scoring for the Twins. After earning great praise from their performances in Sunday night's game, both Sam Tuivailala and Tyler Lyons had pretty cringeworthy moments in the innings they covered yesterday, giving up three runs between the two of them. Only recently recalled John Brevia was able to put up zeros in two innings yesterday. Perhaps he should have been there all along. Nonetheless, while the Cardinals' offense stalled, the Twins continued their offensive surge, fueled primarily by Eduardo Escobar's 3-for-9 series, Eddie Rosario's 4-for-10, and Robbie Grossman's 4-for-7 over the two days with two walks in Game 2 alone. Nothing like catching a team that hasn't been very good right when they start to play better ball. 
Which really is what happened, by the way. The Twins were certainly on an upswing offensively. Plus, they threw a rookie starter and a soft-tossing righty who'd been struggling. Those are like two of the Cardinals' greatest weaknesses. It's two games. Annoying, yes. Concerning trends? Sure. But more than anything, it's just sad because the party's over. And now all the balloons are gone too. 